what is going on YouTube? Let me just unfuzz this a little bit. Unfuzz mode. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Ah, uh, right. So listen, what I thought I'll do in this video real quick is do a, um, what was I gonna do again? Right, I'm gonna do an eBay Stone Island challenge video, okay? So it's basically finding Stone Island pieces for, I'm not gonna say cheap, I'm gonna say more like reasonable prices. I'm gonna be doing that video today. The tips and guides that I can show you guys on how to pick up more lower price items on eBay okay so today's episode I'm gonna be looking at Stone Island in the future I'll be doing other brands but let's start with Stone Island because I know you guys love Stone Island to the max let me show you the tips that I look for when I'm looking for some cool bits okay two seconds Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so here we are, guys. Let's crack right into the video. So first thing I'd like to say is, if you're looking for some designer bits and you're looking for some deals and stuff, remember to always check out the hoxandtrend.com first. Basically, me and the team, we've set this website up to make it easy for you to find deals, latest items, um, you know, and bits and bobs like that. And we check this daily, guys. So we're, we're always updating this. We're always trying to show you the latest deals and offers. So make sure that this is your first um, point of call when you guys are doing a shop, okay? If all else fails then you can't find any deals through that, it's not a problem. All you need to do is jump onto eBay and you can use eBay to find some deals as well, okay? Just going to go onto the search field of eBay's um, website and type in Stone Island. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I would recommend to do is once you've got the Stone Island search and you've got all the results up is just hit auction. So this is where I usually start my search if I'm looking for bits. So literally, I'll just go through here and anything that kind of catches my eye, I'll just have a look at it, okay? Okay, cool. So just come across this Stone Island top. You can see it right there. Let's have a look. Right, let's see. That looks pretty nice. Stone Island. Now, the thing with items like this is because this guy's got quite bad um, pictures, you know, there's no Certi logo on there. Looking at the picture, it looks genuine to me. Okay. Now, what I would say is with something like this, this is 50. This might well go for 60 or maybe 70. I, I would put in a bid for something like this, for example, maybe mm, 65 plus 629, that's 7129. So if you could pick this up for, let's say 65 plus 65 plus six, that's 7129 roughly. I, I think that's not too bad, not too bad for 70 quid, okay? What you could do is get in contact with the seller now and just ask them a quick question and be like, oh dude, does this item have the certain logo? And if so, can you send me the Certi Logo report just to verify that this item is genuine? Now, what you're doing there is you're taking advantage of the fact that this seller is using really, really bad pictures. I mean, you can't see that at all. That might put a lot of people off. But what could be here is a hidden gem that no one else will know about. And if you've taken the time to do a bit of research and find out, potentially you could bag that for a very good price, okay? You're basically looking for items which are finishing at, you know, really kind of late times and not many people are bidding on it or, bit, you know, items that are finishing during the daytime and not a lot of people will be bidding on it or the pictures are really really bad and people are kind of put off by it but you kind of know mm, this could be genuine now i've just seen another item here we've got this stone island um sweat top hoodie now i know this is pretty expensive i can't remember the price i'm sure it is over 250 and um, this was the stone island grid now this says 90 I'm just going to read the um just going to read the description in case there's any any issues with it Stone Island camo, very nice hoodie, size large, with fit a medium, great condition, looks great on. 335, he says it is. And that's ending in one day and two hours. I believe that's going to be s Friday. Items that end on Fridays are usually good items to look at because Fridays people are out, they're out clubbing, they're out with their mates on Fridays, they've been working all week. The chances of, the, uh, chances of them being at home on a Friday might, may be low, especially now that it's, um, it's summertime and it's really hot. So this item here might not have too many eyes on it. I would put in a bid on this for 95 plus the postage and that would be um, 98 pounds. 45 pence, so just less than 100. I know this grid um, collection was pretty, pretty expensive. It wasn't too cheap at all. Let's see what else we can find here. Bam, look at this one right here. Oh my gosh. So this is ending in three days and it's 71.99. This is a wicked jacket. I actually had this. It's Mosala Gamata material. So I know that it's water resistant. It's got the fur on the collar, but it's not real fur. It's got quilt on the inside. Really, really nice piece. I would just double check to see if there's any faults with this let's just double check stone island size large excellent condition so according to him there's 
no issues with it. $71.99 is a really low beard. That's finishing in three days. I think this is finishing on Sunday. This, this could be a good cop. And if that was me, I would put in a bid for like 200 on that. Maybe 250. This is quite a good piece. Potentially, you could pick this up for below 250, 200. But again, another really good find here. I I'm pretty sure this was like 550, 650 from Stone Island, and you you can't even get this piece no more. It, 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 it's kind of gone. Um, let's see what else we can find on here. So, just seeing if I can find any cool pieces. This piece looks really nice. Got this Peach Stone Island um, hoodie. That is $21.99. That's finishing in one day 19. Now, do bear in mind that, yes, prices can bump up at the last minute. This could very well go for 100. But the, you know, the good thing is, is that in it's summertime now, it's blazing hot. Not many people out there are gonna be looking for um, hoodies and jackets so this could be an excellent time right now in the blazing hot summertime you could be creeping in the middle of the night looking for some really cool deals for the winter time because remember winter will be here you know pretty soon come september october november it's going to start getting cold again and you're going to be so happy that you cop these cheap bits here i would put in a bid on something like this for 90 and cross my fingers and hope for the best so that potentially could be something that would be um a good cop it's got the 30 logo there remember i told you guys never show people your 30 logo like that what this guy should have done is he should have um, run the 30 logo through the system them and generated a 30 logo seal image which he can then put and upload on here and that way it's a lot safer for him but he clearly hasn't seen my videos or he would have known about that so yeah got some good finds here so far let's see if we can't find some more um cool pieces okay when I see Stone Island like this and it's got lots of Stone Island polos in the picture and 11.99 brand new guys this is this is 100% fake okay don't even waste your time with stuff like that it's definitely definitely fake okay this is really nice this is nice this overshirt let's have a look size small 50 quid right this this looks really nice this looks really nice it's an older piece pre 2014 doesn't have the 30 logo on there um you can see that the label they've dyed it a little bit yellow now they usually do that with the labels they they usually dye them sometimes the same color as the garment so that's a good way of spotting if an item is genuine or real because I, I haven't caught counterfeiters doing that yet 50 squid ending in five days time so still a long time to go i would put something like 150 on this if it was me i'd put 150 on that with, with a hope to get it for less than 150 and i've basically got myself a really nice um stone island top which is yeah which i haven't really seen running much around to be honest with you so that that could be a pretty good steal actually let's see what else we can find on here i mean buying out of season is a great thing to do guys like right now in the summertime when it's piping hot looking at warmer pieces and i know it's going to be the last thing on your mind but if you really really want to save money in that way then you, you buying out of season is a really good thing to do who cares about aws 18 and all this stuff you don't need to be getting the latest stuff you know this time next year the aws 18 stuff's going to drop in price and you can probably pick it up cheaper on ebay anyway so i got this puffer jacket here on ebay just found this one this is really nice it's 155 the seller is saying it was um 550 originally I, I can't remember prices now to be honest with you it's got the 30 logo he's covered it he's a good boy he's probably seen my video no doubt otherwise how else would he know to cover the 30 logo it's ending in 11 hours this could be potentially a really good steal at 155 i would put in it i would put in a um bid of like 157 158 plus the 895 postage you probably bagged yourself a jacket for less than 170 um, and that's pretty good um, what i'm going to do is just double check that there's no issues so let's have a look right so he's saying that there's some discoloration so i don't know where that discoloration is that could potentially put me off at that price you know i would prefer if there was no issues with it and i think at 155 i'm being a bit cheeky but if there's discoloration then i, I would just want to offer him 90 but that's just me if you ask him some questions maybe you can say look dude send me some pic more pictures of this discoloration i can't see it is it really that bad and you know if if he sends you that and you can kind of work with it and it's actually not too bad then go for it or you could wait to see if this listing ends and no one bids and you can just message him and be like dude um i know you had it for 155 maybe you can offer it for 110 i understand there's some discoloration um i've got 110 i can pay you now um through ebay and we can get this done and dusted, okay? Um, typically, sellers don't usually like to go outside of eBay 
And even nowadays, if you're caught going outside of eBay, like trying to send a message and you get caught by eBay, they, they just kind of block your account. So it, it's probably not worth, you know, as annoying as it is with eBay fees, it's probably not worth doing that, okay? Oh, wow, look, someone's got the, um, the ice jacket. No way. And it looks in good condition. Wow. Okay, let's see, because that's a really good price. I'm just, kind of, I'm just trying to wonder what is going on with this jacket. So let's just read it really, really quick. It's got a few issues on there. Um, but looking at the pictures, it looks pretty decent. I mean, yes, he's right. These, heat, these ice jackets, they do peel. Stone Island says they're meant to do that. So it is a bit annoying. But if you're looking for a classic piece like this, you don't mind the peeling. 160 is actually not a bad price. These jackets can go up to 550, 600, um, brand new in really good condition. So it might be a situation of checking and examining the pictures a little bit more just to see if it's really as bad as he says, or maybe even get him to send you more pictures of the faults. Okay. But 160 is not too bad for that, but the, um, it will deteriorate. The materials will deteriorate over time. I mean, I had one of those jackets. I got, I got, the, I got it in brand new. I managed to source it, but um, I just sold it straight away because I, I know those jackets peel, and it, it just, just annoying after a while when they start to peel. Bam, bam, bam. Got some shorts here. God, it, I, I really haven't been looking at Stone Island um, in a while, so I, I honestly can't remember the prices. But seventy-five doesn't seem too bad for brand new. I think. Guys, leave the comments on the comments box below if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are 150. So yeah, 75. I would put a bid in there for 80 and see what happens if, was, if that was me. Now look, we've got Stone Island alligator collection piece. I know this was 550 because I picked that up myself. Um, again, you can see that's there. There's no fakes of that. So potentially if you like the alligator piece, I know a lot of people didn't. But still, you might want to put in a bid for that. You could do that, okay? So, um, look, got some tracksuit bottoms there, but I don't know if they're genuine. I'm not going to go in and have a look. Now, if you're worried about items being genuine, remember you can always send me legit checks. All you need to do is go onto the hoxtontrend.com, go onto ARCs, HOCs on the tab, and then there's a whole section there where you can send me your um, images and questions if you want legit checks. Ultimately, you can do the same thing on Instagram or Twitter as well, okay? Someone's got a Nike X Stone Island. Now, this is a fake. Now, look at this, guys. Just found this fake Stone Island, Nike Stone Island jacket, okay? From a distance, when, I, when it was zoomed out, it, it looked, it almost looked genuine. But as soon as I, it, it's, as soon as we got a close up, we could see it's fake, okay? Now, I, I know, guys, I know it's really difficult. You'd be looking at that. You'd be, some of you be thinking, oh, is it real? Is it genuine? Don't forget, guys, don't be afraid to ask the sellers for the 30 logo. Just say, hey, listen, if the item has a 30 logo, Certainly logo do you mind running it through certainlogo.com and sending me the results so i can double check the item is genuine and then i'm happy to make a bid don't feel like you just have to go and make a bid and you don't have the information if you're unsure and again you know just just hit me up with legit checks i'll be able to help you out with that okay but yeah literally if you go on here if you have a bit of time if you have a bit of patience if you know what you're doing you can really find some good deals okay a lot of people out there they're like oh if you can't afford the real thing don't bother going on ebay it means you can't afford it that's just like a whole load of nonsense okay you can buy from wherever you want don't have to be spending silly amounts of cheese to buy some of these designer items so guys that's it man that's it for the ebay challenge video i hope you enjoyed it leave some comments on the comments box below let me know what brands you want to see me do the next episode guys i'm out of here catch you in a bit peace out